In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add section markers to custom tracks that you upload. So once you have the track that you've uploaded inside of Prime, you'll notice that there are no section markers on it. You can press play and hear the audio. There's no custom section markers. Now the reason you'd want section markers is that so then you can utilize the dynamic click or features like section looping or section jumping. To add section markers inside of Prime, you just have to click on the pencil tool and choose edit markers. You'll now see your track on a grid and you can see all the different spots where you can add a section marker. If I double click, I can add a new section. So I can say, this is the intro. I can click add new and it will add the intro section here. If I double click here and I wanna add a verse, you'll see it adds a verse here. I can click and drag to move that section around. Let's just say I want to add a chorus right here. You can click and drag to make sure it snaps. Now, if you want these to flip around, you can drag them around like this to really fully customize those section markers and make sure they're in the right place. Now, I would go through and add the whole song, but I'm going to press save. And now you'll see that my song has custom section markers. And I can utilize features like looping, like section jumping, and even the edit arrangement function, where I can double click and add extra sections or delete them and move them around. So that's why you want section markers. And that's how you add section markers to your custom uploads inside of Prime.